all that we do in life is for that nazar. So every interaction with us, every interaction on these platforms, every interaction on the website is uh, uh, what Allah says is verily witnessed. Everything that we do is witnessed. So this is the best of witnessing when people participate and interact and make them to feel that they're a part of a fellowship and that they're being of service, they're, they're being involved. That not just to sit back and let this world pass us by but to be involved in everything that we do and that the more involvement you have the more shaykh, the shaykh is recognizing and seeing that person. That's why it's best to interact with who you are. You know the, these fake names that we put on, on social media, maybe some names we put like that so, so people won't know us and that won't know our profile which is okay. But if there are abilities to interact and to, to give your name on the YouTube that this is just the first name and this is the comment, this is the nasheed I like. So alhamdulillah this builds a familiarity. We're very familiar with those whom are emailing, whom are communicating, whom are supporting and all of these names we see them over and over and over. So alhamdulillah it's very interactive. So when people are asking for the nazar, nazar, nazar this is the way. It's not a miraculous way, the nazar is by what we do and that's why the teaching is, is similar. That if we want the nazar of Prophet we don't just say, okay, unzur halana wa ishfalana, just look at me. But Prophet's reply to you is, go and do something to get my attention. Just say, look at me and for what? So our life was to do something to get the attention of Prophet and alhamdulillah one of these shaykhs made a very nice comment that Allah has, has given everybody a currency and He gave us a currency. He gave us something of value and it's life. And with that life He tells everybody, go do what you want because everybody has a free will to live their life how they want. So with this currency, this life that Allah gave us, did we spend it? in buying our hereafter or did we spend it in buying our jahannam and our difficulty? So everything in our life is about this nazar, about being interactive, about being involved. That what Allah gave to us of this currency of our life, of my time, my ability, my breath, my, my sustenance, everything, am I using that to buy my paradise? Or am I using this time just to buy my difficulty and the abode of fire? And in the end you, you witness people who, who grow old and in their youth had all their cars, had all their clothes, had all their jewelry, had everything. And once they reach a state of near death and they're old, not their clothes fits them, not their jewelry can be worn, nothing, nothing of what they accumulated of dunya is of any value to them nor do they know what to do with it. They come to offer, do you want these? I say, what I want from that? I didn't even dress the same. That you, you have luck if you can find somebody to take what you have. And only at that time you really understand that the only thing, the only thing we have is what did we buy for our hereafter? This life that Allah gave, how did I spend it to get my hereafter? That am I good with Allah Am I close and good with Sayyidina Muhammad And do I have a awliya, do I have a pious person in which is the nucleus of my life? That I'm around them, I listen to them, I take teachings from them, I'm of service to them. Because we have to have something in our life that's meaningful for our akhirah. And everything that we do with them, the hisab is from Allah So it means that it's, it's never that my love for Mawlana and all the shaykhs, it's not that I thought they were going to give me something. And that if they did right or they did wrong that I was supposed to judge them, no. My love for them was to show Allah. My love for them was to show Sayyidina Muhammad that my love for you is true, Yasiriya Rasulullah Kareem, 
that for me these are your lights on this earth and I swore my allegiance to you, I swore my life and my death to you and I'm going to fulfill that by means of these people. The people themselves are not going to give me anything. If they're holy alhamdulillah and if they really have a power to pray for me alhamdulillah. But my intention was always Allah that Allah to bless me by means of making my deen, my dunya, my akhirah to be real. And that my love for Sayyidina Muhammad not to be hidden only in my heart but with every action that I do. That with the support that I give, the actions and my service and my khidmat and everything in my life all this life and all, all the ibadah, all the worshipness is of no value to Allah without khidmat. If you pray the best, you give this, you do this, whatever you do for yourself, if there's no khidmat, if there's no service, if there's no helping of humanity, what Allah needs it for? So alhamdulillah these are the nights in which to recall and to remember that we are living a life and that's why we keep giving that intention for tahzim and nabi The Ya Rabbi my only intention is to raise the magnificent status, not even raise, I can't raise anything but to spread the good word of the magnificent status of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and call people to that reality with my life with my breath, with my skills, with whatever Allah gave to me of an ability, with my rizq, with my sustenance, with my family, with whatever Allah has given to me that I want to be in that direction. And as a result of following someone like that, you hear their teachings and their mindset. You hear what is coming from their heart and what coming from their mind and that's the life that they live. That with this life that Allah gave to me did I buy my akhirah? Did I spend it in purchasing my akhirah or did I just spend it in, in the dunya? And in the end all the things you bought you can't even get rid of them. And you don't really know in the end and you're scared that is Allah going to be okay with you? Is Prophet going to be okay with you? And for what? It all just leaves. We pray that Allah grant us a himma, grant us this zeal and this love for the akhirah, this love for everything pure and holy and this love for Sayyidina Muhammad and that his nazar to be upon us and that we have something in our hisab for ourselves and for our family and for our community, for our children. That there's something in that account that we, we spent buying it in akhirah and that Allah says, your account in heavens is filled. At that time you make du'a, at that time you make a request and Allah inshaAllah grant. We pray that in these holy nights in the Urs Mubarak is always a reminder, it's a marriage. They spend their life preparing to meet that which they love the most. And the urs is from arus, it's a marriage and a bonding in the Divine that they spent their life in separation. A love that came within their heart of, I give you a zawj, I give you soulmate and I give you a mate of that which you don't even know, the inner reality of your soul on how it's connected to Sayyidina Muhammad If you're hearing these realities you're from that ocean. And that these awliyaullah their guidance is that they caught the fire, they felt the love, they felt the yearning and they began to disattach from everything other than that yearning and other than that love. And they knew that that greatest bond, that greatest love is by their da'wah because that's the khidmah. They bring people, they bring the souls, the misguided souls, the lost souls, the souls that have given 
given up on the difficulty of this dunya, they bring them back to that life so that Prophet will be happy with them. And that Prophet's nazar be upon them that whatever this one is asking, he's bringing people to us, give him more. Whatever light he's in need of, give them more, they're bringing people to us, they're bringing these souls back to us. Not that he's acquiring and, and, and massing things for himself. So means this whole reality of da'wah, this whole reality of muhabbat and love, everybody can do it. Everybody can click on a link and share it. Everybody can take an article and I'm seeing many of our people posting, posting, posting articles, summaries of articles, posting the, the charity, posting the store, posting all of these things. Because this is our da'wah, this is the khidmat, this is the life that we lead. We're doing all of these so that our shaykhs recognize us, that Prophet recognize us. If we're in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad no doubt we're in the heart of Allah's Divinely gaze because He looks to the heart of Prophet and inshaAllah sees our names as muhibeen and, and ahbab and lovers of the reality and that we're all doing what we can to get Allah's nazar and satisfaction, rida and satisfaction to dress us and bless us. And that's when you know your heart has a khushya and a softness. Is Allah is the great tenderizer. Allah begin to make your heart to be tender when He loves you. He begins to place muhabbat, love and ishq into your heart because those are the ingredients of faith and iman. And that's, that's when you know, you say, how do I know Allah loves me? By knowing how much do you love Allah if we're doing this system right, we should have an immense love for the Divinely Presence. And as a result of that love, the heart becomes soft and becomes so tender that it's always in, a, in emotion to feel like crying because Allah is the great rahmah and tenderizing of the heart and it begins to put in immense love and muhabbat into the heart. And that muhabbat and love makes the person to be passionate and compassionate, that they feel a mercy for all of Allah's creation and they try their best to be humble, to be nothing, to listen, to follow, to, to reach to the ways of reality and they see the difficulty all about them and they see that this is, the, this is a, a path that is more and more in, in need for humanity. Instead of shaitan ruling the earth by fear and telling everybody they're going to be sick, they're going to be dead, they're going to be this, they're going to be that, that we need more than ever now <coughs> Allah to grant us love. Allah grant a love within the heart, a, a compassion within the heart and that love becomes faith and iman. And with that faith and with that iman and love for Sayyidina Muhammad is an intimate dialogue because he's from creation. That in the intimacy of your difficulty that when you call out to the presence of Prophet and see yourself on his threshold and see our heads upon his holy feet and say, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulul Kareem Azul Halana wa Ishana. Take away sickness and difficulty, grant us dignity. There's nothing more powerful than that. Whatever we did in life we didn't do for people.
whatever you do in life you do for Allah and for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad So that when you ask them for help and you ask them for support or if your heart is broken and you're in sadness and in difficulty you have to build that relationship that I'm on your feet and I have nowhere to go. I've spread my life and I spent my life, a good portion of my life in the spreading of your love that grant me a najat, grant me a proximity, grant me your ishq and muhabbat in my heart that it give me a yaqeen and certainty. When you love somebody with all your certainty and they grant you back a love and a feeling in your heart that, don't worry you are with me and I'm with you. If you ask me I will ask Allah If you're in need of something for me I will ask Allah And this is the whole beauty of this path that nothing we did was wasted, no time that we spent was wasted, not a dollar that we spent was wasted. All of it built this immense love, immense love, immense security. So that when you see others are suffering and others are dying and others are ill and sick and all you can do is thank Allah when you go back home that Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem that will you be there when I take my last breath. I don't know who else will. But you ask if Prophet to be there. So these are the immensity of Mawlid and Nabi that you raise the honour of my name. You can't raise the honour but you spread the immensity of that honour. This life that Allah gave to you, you did your best to spread the love for me and you think in your heart that alhamdulillah they're with me, their light and dress upon me, their blessings upon me and that's all that we need, that's all that this life was about. We pray that Allah grant that light. Grant that blessing to ourselves, to our family, to our communities, all who share in these efforts with us. For every one dollar you give, if you thought the shares of Yahoo and Google and Amazon and all of that had a benefit is all a azab and you can't do anything with that in Allah's presence. But those whom give in the way, support the way, participate in the way share links, share articles, share the word. These are shares that have infinite return and proximity to the Divinely Presence, to the Divinely Heart of Sayyidina Muhammad to the Divinely Heart of Awliyaullah and all whom Allah is pleased with and loves from Samahi wa fil and we pray that Allah dress us from its lights, bless us from its lights and grant us a life to see Mawni the Nabi And what lights open on the 12th of Rabbil Awan, it opens as no other day. Every day is a holiday, every day is a holy day for Allah But that day, those two, three days of immense Eid, immense blessings that Allah is, is dressing upon all of creation for the sake of, of wanting to be known and being known through the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad as if Allah giving a gift to His own honour. That this mirror that He created to be known, Allah is so pleased with His own reality. Imagine then Allah's generosity to Allah's self and Allah's reality. And we're just in the middle trying to participate in the immensity of those blessings. That Ya Rabbi include us in those blessings, include us in those lights, forgive any wounds that we've done, take away our sicknesses, take away our difficulties, 
take away this the shortness in our rizq and grant us from your bounty grant us from your sustenance grant us from your from your rida and satisfaction ya rabbi whatever you granted to us don't take it away but give more hilman mazid that give us more from your oceans whatever you granted us of health don't take away ya rabbi grant us more health whatever you granted us of light ya rabbi don't take it away and grant us more light what you granted of sustenance don't take away and grant us more sustenance from your heavens and from your earth ya rabbi Grant us the proximity to the nearness of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad wa ahlul bayt al-kiram wa ashab al-nabi wa awliyaullah fi samah wa fi ard ya rabbi. Bi rahmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.